Mm, hearing that music is a little bittersweet today. We all know, unfortunately, the Kings season ended in New Orleans tonight after that tough loss to the Pelicans. Yeah, the Kings finished the season with a record of 46 wins and 36 losses. Kevin John is live in New Orleans right now. Now, Kevin, before you come with all that negative stuff, I have to say, if you watch this game tonight, the Kings never gave up. I mean, <laughs> they went down to the wire with this one, Kevin. You have to give that to them, right? Chris, let me ask you a question. Do you play a game to try to get back in it in the fourth quarter, or do you play the game to win? Because last I checked, at the end of this game tonight, the Kings walked away with the loss. You know, Chris Thomas, there's this quote I'm sure we've all heard before. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Well, Chris, what happens when the same team fools you six times in the same season? Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to justify this one. At any rate, enough of me talking and all this negativity. Let's take a look at how it all went down today. The Big Easy definitely didn't want to make it easy on the Kings tonight. Smoothie King Center was rocking as the Pelicans host their second game of this play-in tournament. Many Kings fans made the 2,000-plus mile journey from Sacramento to New Orleans. De'Aaron Fox was hoping to stand on business tonight. And early on, the Kings came out and set the tone. Here in the first quarter, Demonis Sabonis gets the steal, goes coast to coast, and watch him get on up like James Brown. Hit me. Another monster game for Domas. He had 23 points and 14 rebounds. Kings actually led 24 to 22 at the end of the first quarter. And then the second quarter happened, and the Kings looked all discombobulated. Maybe they spent too much time on Bourbon Street last night. New Orleans opened the quarter on a 27-13 run, and they would take a nine-point lead into the half. In the third quarter, more poor shooting from the Kings. As a whole, they shot 11 of 41 from three-point range. That's just 26%, people. But thanks to De'Aaron Fox, the Kings would somewhat stay in this game. Fox had a game-high 35 points. And by the time the fourth quarter rolled around, the Kings pretty much just tapped out. The Pelicans led by 20 points with six and a half minutes to go in regulation. And by this time, they were in cruise control. New Orleans goes on to beat Sacramento for the sixth time this season. And this time around, they eliminate the Kings from postseason contention. 105 to 98, the final from New Orleans. I don't know. I mean, they. I feel like every time one of their guys has a really good game against us, um, collectively they all have a above average game. So, um, I mean, it's just it's just a team that we got to get over the hump in the next coming years just because they're in our conference. We play them four times a year. Focus was to limit the threes, you know, and make them drive. Uh, they've hurt us a lot uh, over the past five games in threes. And um, when they drove, you know, I feel like we kind of gave them a, too much of an easy lane to, to go downhill. My, my job is to go out there uh, and try to make plays, uh, try to get downhill, try to create shots for myself and try to create shots for uh, my teammates. And uh, just got to be able to do a better job. You know, let's, we'll take time to sit back and reflect the more on the season as time goes on. Uh, this obviously was a tough loss for us. And, you, you know, we, we, we know we could have played better, but it is what it is. They beat us and uh, they, they earned it. Obviously a tough pill for the Sacramento Kings to swallow after this loss. I am joined now by ABC 10's Matt George. And Matt, the Kings came out great in the first 30 minutes maybe, or 20 minutes, shall I say, and then they let this game get away from them in the second half. What happened? Well, really, honestly, I saw momentum shift before our very eyes, right? The New Orleans Pelicans came into this game having lost six straight at home, having lost two straight to the Lakers that knocked them from sixth to a chance to miss the playoffs altogether. Plus, they lost Zion Williamson, their star, so they were reeling. Meanwhile, the Kings came in with a lot of momentum after their win over the Golden State Warriors, and Sacramento played like it early on. They were forcing turnovers, getting out in transition. The problem is the offense didn't do enough to take advantage of that. Look, the Kings held the Pelicans to 105 points. The Kings kept the Pelicans from torching them from three-point range, which was an issue all season long. Sacramento did enough defensively to win this game, but offensively, and this is something we've said too much this season, offense is supposed to be the primary strength of the Kings. It wasn't good enough tonight. They didn't even reach the 100-point mark, and 
here they are. Their season is at an end. Yeah, on the offensive side of the ball, it seemed like only De'Aaron Fox and Damana Sabonis stepped up. The both of them had pretty much half of all the Kings points. So we look ahead now. It's going to be a long, long off season for the Sacramento Kings as they figure out what to do next uh, year. In the meantime, if you want to get more of your Kings fix, tune in to Locked On Kings, hosted by this man, Matt George, tonight. And Matt, I know you're going to have a lot to say. Got plenty. All right, the meantime, I'll just send it back to you guys on the desk. Well, guys, Chris and I were talking, and we're going to stay positive because we think that this game was actually progress because the margin in the loss wasn't as big as we've seen before. Yeah, you got to pick something, right? And that's what we're going to go with in this case. Look at their faces. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, live from New Orleans.